Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to do this sheep collage. We're going to be cutting, sticking, painting using watercolours and acrylics and finishing off with a little bit of pen work. Um, so I'll show you what materials you need. Okay, this is everything we will need for this project. Uh, we have acrylic paint, a jar of water, paint palettes, but if you haven't got any paint palettes then any old containers or maybe some recycling pots will do just as well. Some watercolour paint, some sponges, um, these two are called sponge pouncers. This is just a, an ordinary sponge cut in half. A glue stick, some scissors, a rubber, a black permanent marker, a black fine liner pen, a white gel pen, a pencil, a small paintbrush, a medium sized paintbrush, and a large paintbrush, some tissue paper uh, for mopping up um, any extra water on your paintbrush that you might not need. Kitchen roll works really well. And three pieces of paper. I have some A4 white card, some A3 natural coloured paper and some A3 white watercolour paper. Oops, there should be black card on the table too for the sheep heads. Obviously this is quite a lot of things to have on your table at the same time and I really want to keep my workspace nice and tidy so I'm only going to keep on the table what I need for every stage of this project. Um, it's also important to protect your workspace if you're working perhaps on your mum's dining room table you might want to put down a nice sheet or newspaper and don't forget to wear a painting smock if you have some good clothes on. Now let's get our paint ready. Um, so I'm going to put the acrylic paint into the palette. These acrylic paints will be for the sheep and you can use whatever colours you like for the sheep but I'll tell you the colours that I'm using. So I've got some white acrylic paint, some dark brown acrylic paint, some light blue acrylic paint and some mustard yellow acrylic paint which is actually called ochre. Right, let's get the watercolour paints in the palette. Now, the watercolour paints, you will need these colours because they're for the background. So, some yellow watercolour paint. As you can see, I don't need quite as much watercolour paint in my palette because it's, um, it will spread nice and easily with the water light green watercolour a darker green and some white watercolour Okay, we're gonna start painting the background first and this is what we'll need. So we'll need the watercolour paper. Now make sure you get your watercolour paper the right way round. Um, the, the right side is going to be slightly bumpy. So I'm going to put that there. Uh, we need the watercolour paint, the large paintbrush, your jar of water and a 
pencil um, just to draw in the horizon line. Um, the horizon line is where the, the land is going to meet the sky and we're going to put that three quarters of a way up the page so it's going to be there's halfway it's just going to be a little bit up from there so just across here just very lightly you don't need to do a big thick line just enough so that you can see it there we go okay let's get started um, I'm going to be using the light green and the white to paint my grass. So, I'll just wet the brush. Or oh, you might want to have your tissue paper as well. Okay. So you don't need to be very careful with this stage. We're just swishing the paint across. Push my light green across, give my brush a wash, and then pick up some white watercolour and blend that in a little bit. There we go. So it's going to be almost like stripes. Get a little bit more light green. I'm going to blend that into my white a little bit more because I don't want it to look too blocky. So, here we are. Just keep doing it until you're happy with what it looks like. There's no right or wrong. A bit more white. And I'm just taking it up to that line. There we go. I'm just going to come down a bit more. Okay. I think I'm happy with that. Give my brush a wash. And then I'm going to paint the sky in with my wa white watercolour. of little clouds. I'm just going to pick up just a tiny bit, tiny bit of the green watercolour and that will blend into the white a little bit and just make a little cloud shape. So this doesn't have to be very careful at all, it's just an impression of the cloud. And then I'm going to pop a sun over here, so I'm going to pick up some of the yellow watercolour and just do a nice round circle for my sun. There we are again. Don't worry about if the watercolour spreads into the, to the other colour. It's okay, just let it do its thing. That's what watercolour does best. There we are. And that's the background done. Uh, we now need to put this to one side uh, to let it dry um, whilst we prepare the sheep. Um, you can use a hairdryer to quicken up the drying process but watercolour doesn't take too too long. Okay, right now we need to design our sheep, uh, the patterns on our sheep and the colours. Um, so for that I'm going to bring in my natural coloured paper. But if you don't have natural coloured paper, then white coloured paper is fine, don't worry. Okay, and we're also going to use the acrylic paint. Now if you remember, these are the colours I chose for my palette. But if you wanted to use different colours for your sheep, then that's absolutely fine because it's your painting and you could use as many colours as you want. Okay, so let's get started. 
So first of all, I need to divide my paper up into four equal parts. So I'm going to fold it in half. And then turn it around and fold it again. Okay, so I've got I've got four four equal rectangles here. Now what I want you to do is make sure your paper is in portrait. That means it's going up facing up long ways. This is called portrait. So right now we're going to start with the, the first rectangle and for this first rectangle I'm going to use my sponge and I'm going to dip it into the dark brown acrylic paint and I'm just going to sponge this rectangle up with the paint like so. Can you see how that that gives it quite a nice, a nice effect, a nice texture? And you don't have to cover it all in dark brown paint. It's it looks nice if you have some some whiter bits. That way you can see the texture. So just keep going until you're happy with it. Right, there we go. I think I'm happy with that. So that's my first rectangle done. Right, the next rectangle I'm going to use my medium sized brush, just give it a little wet, and I'm going to use the, the mustardy yellow colour here. And I'm literally just going to swirl it about. So, I make it look like a nice woolly sheep. There we I'm going to do some blue stripes. Now I know that sheep don't usually have blue stripes but these are quite funky sheep so you can make them look as interesting as you like. You don't have to be very careful. It doesn't have to be really neat. Try and get your paint as smooth as possible because it makes it easier for drying later on if you haven't got any big blobby bits. Okay, so those are my stripes, and on this one I think I'm going to put some white um, circles, so I'm going to use my medium sized pouncer and just pop that into the white acrylic. There you go, try and make sure there's not too too much paint on the end of it. Um, then to get these white prints, you're just going to pop the pouncer down and give it a little twist. So pop it down, give it a little twist. Just go like that one. And there you go. Just pop a bit more on the end. So stamp and twist. Okay. 
and it's okay if it blends in with the blue a little bit well, it looks nice there we are okay and then I think for my last pattern I'm going to use the smaller pouncer I'm going to do lots of dots with the mustardy yellow colour, the oak ochre. There we are. So you can use it a few times before you put some more paint on the end of it. And on this one, I think I'm going to add in a little bit more detail. So I'm going to pick up, I've picked up my smallest brush. I'll get some dark brown acrylic paint and then I'm just going to add an extra circle around there just to give it a bit more, a bit more interest. If your paint isn't spreading, just add a little bit of a bit more water to your brush. So that's my my patterns done but remember you can use uh, any colors and do any patterns that you like okay now we need to put this to one side for drying um, acrylic paint takes a little longer to dry than watercolor so you can speed up the process with a hairdryer but remember to ask a grown-up if you can use the hairdryer or to help you with the hairdryer um, or you could just leave it in a nice sunny spot and it will dry by itself. Right, so let's um, make the templates for the sheep. Okay, for this next stage, we need to get the templates ready um, for the sheep bodies and the sheep heads. So for this part, you'll need uh, the white A4 card a pencil and a rubber just in case you make a mistake okay let's get started so uh, you can see that this A4 card covers the bottom half of the paper so it's about it's the right size for both of your for your sheep okay let's move that to one side right if we fold this paper in half Now we only need one template, so I'm just going to cut down the fold. Right, now this rectangle should be the right size for your sheep now. Um, and you need to make sure you've got it in portrait, so long ways up. Okay, now I'm going to draw the sheep's body so again this doesn't have to be super careful um, just just draw it reasonably sort of large about, about halfway up the paper like so okay so this is the sheep back and then you just want a little blob up here that's going to be that's going to be his neck Okay, so it needs to look something like that, but it, it really doesn't have to be perfect. 
So can you see I've covered about half of my card. There we go. I'm just going to make my line a little bit stronger now that I'm happy with it. There. Okay. So I think that will do nicely. So I'm going to cut that out. So this is going to be my sheep body template. Okay, now let me just check. Bring the painting back and it should, it should fit on your page. If it doesn't, then just adjust it. Give it another trim with the scissors um, until it fits, until you're happy with it. Right. Okay. Now we need the sheep's head. So I'm going to use the remaining bit of card, put that to one side, and I need to get the heads done. So you can see on here, I've got two heads that are facing me and two that are looking to the side. Um, so that's the way I've done it, but if you wanted to have all heads out facing you, that's fine. Right, so first of all I'm going to do the head that's facing me. So, it's going to be... Can you see it's kind of egg shaped? Like so. side. Yeah. That's the one that's facing me and I'm going to do the sideways head. So that one kind of looks like this. And then it's got a ear that's kind of facing down like that. And there we are. I'm just going to put it next to my template, just to check, looks about the right size, yep, okay, happy with that, and I'm going to cut those out. my templates ready okay right now we need to um, cut the sheep bodies out and the heads using our templates that we prepared earlier so I've got my pattern paper back and I'm gonna cut out my four sheep bodies right so you pick up your template and go to my first pattern now you can put it anywhere on this pattern, wherever you think the pattern looks best. So I think I'm gonna, I might do mine up here. Okay, and then I'm just going to draw around it. Don't worry if it goes right to the edge, you can sort of miss that bit out. There we go. And then I'm going to draw, draw my, my sheep on there using the black marker pen so I can see it. Now, for the second pattern, I want to make sure, I want to make sure my sheep are facing each other. So I need to turn my template over. Can you see that? So the, the heads will be touching. So I think I'm going to place this one down here. I think I like this bit best. So I'm going to put it down here. And draw around that. Oops, that's okay. There we go. 
Right, I'm just going to turn my template over again and I'll draw around it up here. And then turn it over so the heads will be touching. Those are ready for cutting out. Right, those are my four sheet bodies. So now I'm just going to get the heads cut out. So I want two heads that are facing me. So you should be able to just about see your black marker pen on the black card. And two sideways heads. But you can have all front facing heads or sideways heads. It's up to you. Okay, I'll just draw a second one. Yeah, oh, and my second front facing head. Right. ready to stick onto our background. Okay, now we need to stick the sheep onto the background. So, your background should be nice and dry. Uh, you'll need a glue stick, your sheep bodies and your sheep heads. So let's get started. Right, I'm going to start with Oh, I'm going to start with this one. It's up to you what order you do them in, but I'm starting with this one. Now, when you glue your sheet, glue it to the side of your paper, not on top of your paper, because then you get glue everywhere. So. Okay. Right, sheep number one. Now it doesn't have to be perfectly straight, you can have it a little bit angled, it's up to you. Let's put it here. And if you if you do want to move it when you're finished, there's time because it won't be stuck fast. So I'll just put them lightly down for the moment. room for the legs and there. There, that should do it. There we go. Right, now for the heads. Pat down. Okay, now it doesn't matter, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna place them in it doesn't matter if your head is overlapping the body on top of it, so that's okay. So, so I'm going to put that one like that. So I'm going to put 
mine something like that, I think. Right. lightly at the moment but I've decided that they're a little big and um, because as you can see I can't quite fit the legs in or the tails so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick up because the glue hasn't dried so you can do this I'm gonna carefully lift the heads off and I'm just gonna unpeel my sheep and I'm gonna give it a trim okay so I just want to show you this because you can fix mistakes or if you're not happy with something you can go in and change it. Right, I'm going to put that back down, maybe a little bit higher up. Yeah, I think that's better. Right, I'm going to pick this one up. Just give his bottom a little trim. There we go. Okay, you can see, look, I've got more room for the legs. Right. I'm going to put a little bit of extra glue on the head those back in so the heads are still fine still happy with the size of the heads and I'm just gonna lower that one a bit more I think I'll just lower this one down a bit more there right now I think that's better I can get the legs in a little tail. There we are. Okay, so now I'm happy with my sheep and the stuck down. I'm gonna show you how to put the details in. So for this part, uh, you'll need your black fine liner, your black permanent marker and a white gel pen is rather nice too if you've got one of those. Right, here we go. So I'm gonna start with the black uh, marker pen and I'm just gonna get those legs in. Okay, so your legs can be doing anything you like. You can have them coming just straight down like that. You might do a little kick, it's up to you. some little tails on these sheep. So it doesn't matter if it's coming off the page a little bit, if it's quite close to the edge. Still a bit of wet paint there. Right. Okay. Right, now I'm gonna put some extra patterns on my sheep. So for this part I'm going to use the white gel pen. So this first sheep I'm just going to make him look a little bit more woolly. So I'm just getting my white gel pen and I'm just going to scribble in his, scribble over his body like so. Makes him look nice and woolly. 
I'm also going to fill in the whites of his eyes. Give him a little mouth. There we are. Right. Okay, this second one, I'm just going to do some swirls, I think. There we go. Again, it's up to you what patterns you want to do and how many you want to do and how detailed you want to make your sheep. You could, you could spend ages putting in details on these sheep and making them look really special. It's up to you. Okay. Right, I think I'm going to switch to my black fine liner because this sheep has got some white spots in it so the black fine liner will show up a bit better. I'm just going to put some extra detail on those white, white spots. Okay. Oh, I'll just put these eyes in. So the sheep that's looking sideways, he's got one eye. Uh, and the sheep that's looking straight at you will have two eyes. You'll be able to see both, both its eyes. Okay, I'm going to keep my white gel pen and just add uh, some white detail on top of this one. There we go. But you could be, you could put little, little white dots going around it. It's entirely up to you. I'll do a few little, few little white dots here. A little bit of extra detail. Right. Okay, so that's the sheep decorated. So I'm going to put some detail in the grass now. So I'm going to pick up my fine liner pen again. And I'm just going to do some tufts of grass. Anywhere where you like. Maybe on the horizon line, I'll do a few tufts of grass. Might add some flowers. Might add some flowers. I did put a flower in the mouth of my sheep on my original picture, so I'll do one here just to show you. It looks quite sweet. Um, I'm even going to put a funny little bird sitting on this sheep here. There we go. You can put a little butterfly if you want to. There we go. Oh, also, I'm just putting some pupils in the whites of these eyes as well. There we go. Right. And then, I'm just gonna outline my sun a little bit as well, just make it nice. There we go. A few little lines on the outside, that just looks like rays of sunlight coming off. Oh, there, that's fine. Okay, so that's all my pen work done. Okay, now for the last, the last bit of detail on this, on this picture. Um, it, I'm going to add a little bit of shadow under these, under these sheep. So, I'm going to take my medium sized brush and just get a bit of the green watercolour. I don't want it too thick, so I just want to make it quite watery. There we go. I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow under the sheep. There we go, because this gives the, the pitch a bit of value. Um, makes it look a bit more um, lifelike. You can see uh, a little bit of shadow there. Again, you don't have to be very careful. Just anywhere under under the sheep's body, under his legs. And 
okay? Yeah, so just till you're happy with it. And if you wanted to pick out some of your flowers with a little bit of that yellow watercolour, you could do. Because that's quite nice. Just, just like so. Yeah. And then that's your collage complete. Okay, well there you go. Um, hopefully uh, your sheet looks something like these three pictures I've got in front of me. Um, so um, these are all my work. Um, this was the first one I started with. I did this one yesterday. Um, this is the sheet picture I did today for the video tutorial. And as you can see, they all look a little bit different. There's some different shades of colour, there's some different shapes, different patterns. Um, they're not exactly the same and yours probably doesn't look exactly the same either. And that's okay, that's great because that's the fantastic thing about art is everybody's work looks a little bit different and that's why it's so fun and, and interesting. And that's all following the same instructions and using the same materials. Um, so I hope you've you've enjoyed this project and I see you again soon. Bye for now.